Jimmy, oh shit! Take out the captain and take this is your chance. Team. Sack Ted. Okay. You just hit this oh my god, this is gonna suck shit with, with this guy out over here. Get away from me. Boom. All right, where's Ted? Dude, stop roughing the passer. Where's Ted? Stop roughing the passer. I don't give a shit about the passer. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh shit. Ugh. Unsportsmanlike conduct. You guys were throwing f fucking footballs with bombs in them at me. Which was partially my fault, because I'm the one who put the bombs there. Alright, let's go. Fuck you, Ted. Did I win? Wait, why did he have a whole health bar? He went down after, like, one hit. <laughs> the fuck? That's right, losers. Oh, yeah! That was a pretty fun mission. Oh, I, I like that. It, you did it! I'm king of the school! Oh, you beat them all in front of everybody! Thanks for your help, Petey. Oh, this is gonna be great. We have officially mastered all of the clicks, apparently. So here I am, suddenly the king of the school. I never meant for things to turn out this way. I just wanted to control a couple of psycho kids and be left alone. But now I guess I'm certainly going to live the good life. Yeah, at least for like, you know, the next year or so until you graduate and then leave school forever and never think about any of this ever again. Chapter 5. The Fall and Rise of Jimmy Hopkins, age 15. I wonder if this is the last chapter. It kind of feels like we're getting really close to the end of the game. This has got to be like the last chapter. Hey, Darby! Hey, Johnny. Hi, yo, Jimmy. What's up, brother? Hey, Jack. So I'm like, yo, it's Jimmy! <laughs> Look at this shit. I've united all the clicks. Yo, yo man, so what's going funny, on? Jimmy? Oh, hey, everyone girl, likes everyone. Great. great. Thank you for that show, darling. Wow, hey, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Hi, boys. That's all I got to say. So I love that guy. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Why don't you I suck my it, dick man. a little I bit harder? Over this dump. These morons are my morons. That's now. great. Just don't turn into a jerk. How could I? I? Hey, baby. How you doing? What you doing later? Just remember, Jimmy. Not everybody likes you. Correct. They love me. Well, what about Gary? Gary? Forget about that twerp. Dude, it's me now. I run this place and you're my friend, so please try to be cool. Oh man, you're bringing me down. Come on, let's go milk this thing for all it's worth. We might even find you a girl. We might, but probably not. Jimmy, forgive me, but I gotta go. PD doesn't get much. Oh, you gotta go, do you, PD? Seems like you only use me for my cutscenes, PD. Every time we finish a cutscene together, you just walk away. Hey. Fuck you, PD. You get a fucking wedgie, and now you get a you get you get put in the fucking trash. Get out of my way. I got garbage to take out. Guys, move. Move, guys. You Thank you. Like <laughs> Alright, thanks, guys. Alright. Now that I've asserted my dominance again over Petey, which isn't saying much, you but... Whoa. No, I didn't. What's new, sir? Come on, man. I'm so anything. cool. You gotta love me. I'm so cool. I'm the coolest kid. I'm going to find some troublemakers today. Do I not have a class right now? Because the bell just rang. Yeah, it looks like I have, like, extra credit shop class, which... I don't really think I would gain anything from that, so I don't really want to do it. But, um... What now? What now? Let me get a health bonus, real quick. I think I saw some flowers... somewhere. If not, then I'll just roll over to the girl's dorm real fast and... grab some. And we'll find a woman to make love to, and we will get a health bonus. Probably, we probably won't be making love, because this is not that type of game, but you know. You know. Fun fact, I don't think I've mentioned this at all during the entire duration of this playthrough, but uh, when I was a kid, um, I, I never played this game, but I saw trailers for it, and I really, really wanted it. But I, I never even bothered asking my parents if I could have it, because I was just already, like, certain in my head that they would say no. And to this day, I'm like, yeah, pretty sure they would probably say no. Because I came up with every lie and excuse in the book to try to convince my parents to let me play GTA. And they were still just like, yeah, no, fuck you. I still played it. Obviously, I'm, I'm a smart, mischievous little kid. I know how to get shit done. I still played the game. 
and I still managed to get my hands on copies of it. But I could never get my parents to buy me GTA because they were, you know, reasonable parents who weren't going to let their eight or nine year old child play GTA 3 and GTA Vice City. But yeah, there's that little rant. But because Bully was was made by Rockstar and it was kind of in the same vein of those games, I was pretty certain that they wouldn't let me play it. And funnily enough, get the fuck out of here. I'm telling a story. Get the fuck out of here, Dawson's Creek bitch. Get the fuck out. Yeah, in the same vein of that story, my parents were not really against me playing violent video games at all. Like, they didn't really care. It was mostly just GTA. And I think the reason they that Grand Theft Auto was kind of the target of their, their angst was because it was always in the news and it was always one of those games that people were were bitching about like oh it's making our kids violent it's causing all these shootings and all these violence all these violent things are happening because of GTA so um, but yeah it was weird because I played a lot of violent video games but I didn't really I wasn't allowed to own GTA until I was probably like I don't even know I, I honestly I think probably when I was like 12 or 13 I, I had money of my own, and I ended up buying Grand Theft Auto 4, and my parents just sort of went with it. <laughs> they were just like, eh, whatever. Cheating time. Cheating time. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -bum -bum -bum. Mr. Galloway, should you really be doing that? Oh, Jimmy. No, I suppose not, but life is unfair. You promised Ms. Phillips. Oh, God. What kind of world do we live in where I get punished for a minor indiscretion and Hattrick gets away with taking bribes from his pupils? He does? Yes. He sells advanced copies of tests to the sons of his rich friends and nobody says a word. Wait, what rich friends? Well, Darby Harrington, for one. I can't believe he's selling tests. What if I got evidence of him doing this? <laughs> then I'd never need to drink again. All right, let me see what I can do. Jimmy Hopkins on the case. Jimmy Hopkins, coolest bully in school. All right, to get evidence, climb onto the roof of... I didn't catch that last part, because I'm too slow at reading. Uh, 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 auto shop rooftop. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm really glad that I reread that, because uh, otherwise I would have not known to go this way. Like of the barrel, no I still don't really know exactly, like, how I'm going to get up there. Oh, there's a ladder right here. Cool. Julio. Up, up, up the ladder we go. Very, very clever hobbitses to climb so far. You guys looking for something? Alright, I'll pay. You drive a hard bargain. What was that guy doing with his hair? Alright, quickly take a photo of the prep selling tests. Oh, okay. Boom, got the photo. Fuck you. See you at midterm. Get more ev to get more evidence, go to the school gym. Alright. To the gym we go. Kind of like sk Oh, I was going to try to skateboard off the roof. I could probably, like, get back up there. Eh, I don't, really, I don't really care that much. If I ever... Oh, hey, it's Lola. Does she still like me? Wow, are those real? Can I check? You have to show you really like me. Well, I guess I do have Wait, flowers, so there you go. Give me a health bonus. Oh, thank you. Shut up and give me the health it's bonus. Your lucky You're day, amazing, I I hate Lola. Lola is the most irritating bitch. She just genuinely sucks. Wasn't that great? Nope. But thanks for the fucking health bonus. Better than Eunice, I guess. Eunice is I don't know. Eunice is Eunice. I can't help but like Eunice in a way though. There's just something wholesome about her. You give her chocolate, and it just, like, makes her so happy. Alright, now I'm to get more fucking evidence. Uh, am I going the right way here? Um, hide in the pool stands. Oh, okay, I gotta, like, uh, go up here? I think this is how I... I think I've already been up here. I think I came up here looking for rubber bands or some shit at some point. I sure hope he shows up. I need to get my grade up. Don't worry, he'll be here soon, I'm sure. It's like a drug it's like a drug deal except tests. 
Yeah. Do you have the tests? Do you have the uh <coughs> tests? Did I just miss the exchange? I have to zoom in. Okay, I have to. Oh no, Jimmy! What the fuck? Damn it! That is bullshit. Are you kidding me? Ugh. I I was too slow on the uptake there. I was like wondering what the hell was going on, and then right as I remembered the camera controls, it all went to shit. What is this? The jocks challenge. Should I? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go retry that mission. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna end the recording session, and then when we come back next time, we'll we'll redo the mission. So that's probably what's gonna happen. I feel like we've been recording forever. It's been a pretty fat recording session. But yeah, when we come back next time, uh, hopefully we won't be failing that mission. I'm gonna go ahead and go save up and run away from this guy because he's gonna try and fuck me in the butt for committing truancy. Uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this bunch of videos. And I will see you when we decide to return to the world of Bully on a better day.